Okay, introduction to feeling the feelings. So, the thing with uh, feelings, and I use the word feelings, but it could be emotions, or I use the word emotions, but it could be sensations, or I use the word sensations, or it could be vibrations. But the less you label something and make a story about it, the better. Um, so we're, we're letting go of labels, making stories about things. And as you let go of all labels and stories about things, they tend to lose their form. That's the whole thing. The more you, you label something with a, with a discrete form, the more it tends to take shape as a thing. Like if you sort of say fear, then it it gives the energy the form of fear, if that makes sense. So if you say the word pain, then it tends to give uh, the, the, the loose energy tends to congregate some, into something that's called pain. So the less you label something and make a story about it, the more it starts to lose its definition and the more it starts to become formless. It becomes more not what I call non-local. Also, if you label something as being in an, in an area of the body, you're labeling. So if you say, I've got something in my stomach, then that tends to localize. Uh, if you say, like, I've got a funny stomach, then, you know, funny is a label and stomach is an area. So you're already, you, you sort of, you know, if there was this loose energy that was floating around, you're starting to ask it to take form, if that makes sense. So what you're trying to do, like I use the word feelings, and, and it's useful to be aware of what it is, but then we're starting to let go of labels. We're starting, if it's in a place, we're starting to let go that even location is real. Let go that even you should label the type of energy or vibration or feeling that you've got. You're even letting that go. So as you start letting go of the labels and the stories, um, things start to... And you, and the other thing is, when, with whatever you're experiencing, whether it's clammy hands, whether it's funny tummy, pins and needles, uh, uh, knee pain, is that, is that obviously is the form that it seems to be, you seems to be afflicted with when we first start out. But then you're letting that go. You're letting go of the word tummy. You're letting go of the word, because uh, that, that, uh, even tummy has the word of location associated. So you're letting that go. It's actually, it's a vibration, it's an energy. It doesn't need a label or a story. Also, as you're with it, we're getting into the experience of not resisting what is. Not resisting what is. The more you resist what is, the more it stays. The more you let go of resisting what is in the now, the more it starts to what I call dissipate and become non-local, becomes more vaporous and then it disappears into thin air. So that's what we're doing with, with feeling the feelings. So, so let's say, for example, one had a, because uh, it sounds funny, isn't it? Funny tummy or something, but, but a, a funny tummy. So let go of funny tummy. And then also, the more you're in a story, the more you're thinking, the more you're resisting the now, you see. Because whatever energy is here now, we just want to allow that to be experienced without resistance. Now, if, say, there was an energy that seemed to be in the body, actually, body is a, is a label, let go of body and tummy. If there is an energy present, or a vibration present, then each moment you're in thinking, you're resisting being with that, if that makes sense. So you don't want to... So actually, being, the more time you spend in thought, the more time you're resisting experiencing the now. So actually... Uh, the, the initial thing with feeling the feelings is catching as quickly as possible when you enter thought and letting it go, just detach, disidentify with the thought and be, just allow the experience of the energy to be experienced. And then in the beginning, if you're new, you'll go back into another thought, like, and then, okay, detach. So what you're trying to do is catch thoughts. One of the aspects of the practice is to catch thoughts quicker and quicker. So in the beginning it might be, oh, I forgot to buy the bananas, and I need some orange juice, and, uh, and I also need to buy some... Co oh, and then catch yourself. Oh, I've, I'm not with the energy. I'm not with the energy in the body. I'm lost. Detach and be back with the energy. And then you're just allowing it to experience it. Don't call it tummy. Don't call it it's in the, in the place. Just allow it to be experienced. And then you go off into another thought, but 
quickly catch that, you've gone off again, detach, back with the feeling. And then if you go into another thought, detach, back. And so with practice, you're spending less time in thought and more time allowing yourself to be experiencing. And each time you make a label or a story, just detach and feel. And as you allow, you're, you're starting to get this thing of becoming one with what is being experienced, you know. Understand that mentally you can resist the now by trying to push it away. If there's a feeling arising, there is just a habitual thing with human nature to try and push it away mentally so you don't experience it, push it so that it goes under. You're releasing that, release the brakes. You want to fully surrender, to fully allow, to fully experience. You want to like have the experience of fully allowing it without resistance. So it's like, even if there's a fear that, oh, it might become overwhelming, or it might be too much, let that go, because you're developing, I call it being like a spiritual warrior. You know, don't be afraid of pain. Don't be afraid of a feeling. Don't be afraid of a headache. Don't be afraid, like I've gone through panic attacks, surgery, pain, all kinds of things. If you, the funny thing is, as you learn not to resist and fight things, you develop that consciousness or the presence of God or the state of being present can handle anything. It's only when your ego is resisting that's when you suffer more. Now in the beginning there might be an initial spike but it's almost like there's an initial spike where, the, uh, where there's fear but then suddenly something takes over and you become one with it and then it starts to dissolve away. So don't be, don't be afraid of whatever it is. It doesn't need a story or a label. You just become one with it. Also, people sometimes have something in the background, like a subtle, people call it like a supervisor, or something that's trying to monitor the process to make sure you're doing it properly, or uh, you, know, you want to get good marks on it, or something like that. Let that go. Don't, you, don't have to be like per, you don't have to have something in the background monitoring the process to make sure you're doing it right. Trust that it's an intuitive process that doesn't require thinking. You don't need to have something in your head trying to make sure that you're doing it properly or trying to remember. Let it be a more... Trust that grace or a natural intuition doesn't need your head or something in the background monitoring and doing the process. No, no person or thinker feels feelings. You don't need a thinker to feel it. Like, I need to be here feeling. It's not you, because when you let go of, the, of thinking, the idea of a you disappears. But if you hold on to the idea of a you, that means you hold on to thinking. Then you hold on to the illusory concept that there's a you feeling. This is not about you feeling it. This is about letting go of you and letting grace. Let the oneness, let God, let the divine release it. How you do that is become one with it. You, as you let go of the idea of attaching to thoughts, then you, you let go of the illusory idea that there's a you that needs to be doing anything. You don't need a you to do anything. In fact, if you let go of thinking, it's like letting grace do it. You, when I feel feelings in the beginning, it's like letting go of the thinking, letting go of the resistance, becoming one with it, allowing it to fully come up. And then at a certain point, it's like you let go of the resistance and it becomes pleasurable. Because there's no, it's like things become pleasurable when you don't resist. So the, why you feel discomfort with pain, with funny tummies and stuff, is because the ego is resisting it and not wanting it. That's why. It's like the mental resistance and the pushing it away makes it worse. And as you let that go, it becomes a bit worse. And then suddenly it starts dissolving. And you're letting go, because actually there is no such thing as separation. So as you let go of all labels, body, in tummy, in knee joint, or sweatiness, you'll start to experience things becoming much more non-local, vaporizing. You'll start to experience more limited, limitless presence. And then that will vaporize, and you'll go into a kind of timeless stillness. So that's a, a brief introduction to feeling the feelings, Let's practice this for about uh, five to ten minutes and see how we go with that.